Well, it is Medical Monday here on KRDL News Channel 13 with our very own Dr. John Torres. Good yeah. afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you guys doing? Good, doing, great. doing all right. Excellent. Yeah. Now we start with a little bit of news that uh, might be shocking for some guys. Another startling Zika development. CDC says the first case of female to male sexual transmission of the virus has happened in New York City. Exactly. And right now, up until now, we thought it was basically male to female or male to male. And that's where the confusion comes in because of this new case that's going on and it's happening. And essentially what happened here is a surprising development that was prompted by the CDC and they immediately changed its guidance for pregnant women in relation to the virus. Now, even though no cases of women-to-women -women Zika transmission have yet been reported, the CDC is now urging female sexual partners of pregnant women to use barrier methods every time they have sex if they live in or have recently returned from an area with active Zika transmission. And so what happened here is a female-to-female -female transmission, so it's two female sexual partners and one of them passed the Zika virus onto the other one, which we thought couldn't happen that way. Okay. So, so we're learning, we're learning more news time, as Zika's yeah. time goes on, and it all turns out to be not too Yikes. good. Yeah. Wow. Uh, not an entirely huge surprise here, but synthetic cannabinoids, commonly referred to as spice or maybe K2, sending more and more people to the hospital. And what's unfortunate is more people know how to pronounce the cannabinoids because we're yeah, hearing more and more about it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's one of those things. But a new, a new CDC report is revealing that hospitalizations from drugs like this are actually on the rise. Their chemical modifications make them up to 100 times more potent than just marijuana. The drugs mostly are used by otherwise healthy teenagers and young adults, some of who go on to experience strokes, seizures, heart issues, kidney damage, and unfortunately even death. Now there's no antidote for K2 overdoses and it doesn't show up on routine drug screens. Because of that, that's a huge obstacle for physicians who are trying to treat them because it, they might be unfamiliar with the drug, unfamiliar with the symptoms, and again, it's hard to test for, so yeah. it can cause them issues. And it's especially alluring to young people as well. It, so it is. It's alluring. It's scary. very potent, un inexpensive, and it can cause some really bad side effects. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of people using Herbalife may be surprised to find out $200 million federal settlement has happened. Now. And that's a chunk of change, yeah. and that's showing you just how serious they are. The Federal Trade Commission said the company actually misled people into becoming distributors or members by using videos and brochures showing mansions, luxury cars, boats, you name it. Now the company which markets protein shakes, snacks and vitamins, well they issue a statement saying that although they do disagree with many of the FTC's allegations, they settled, the avoid, they settled it to avoid financial costs and the distraction of prolonged litigation. Now, Herbalife said it will also pay $3 million to settle an investigation by the Illinois Attorney General's office as part of a separate settlement. Yeah. So, again, they're yeah. hitting them very hard because they're very serious about this. Yeah, and, I mean, and a lot of people right. saying, you know, the multi-level marketing aspect of it. and uh, That's what got of, them. Yeah, borderline on pyramid schemes. Exactly. That kind of thing. That's so, what yeah. got them. So. Right. Dr. Thanks John, so thanks as always. Well, now